Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, need to answer some questions um, that I've been reading in between the lines on a lot of the comments and uh, of course some of the messages that we've been getting uh, on Messenger and you know so forth. Um, really it's why date or marry a Filipino woman and I've been kind of holding back uh, because I am the kind of guy that doesn't like to insult um, unless I'm just really pushed um, you know stand up kind of guy in that sense but uh, when it comes to insulting women I'm just not that you know not that good at it um, but there is the bottom line truth and that's where I think I need to come forth and just say because I, um, what I've been gathering is, is that um, a lot of the questions are is you know what's the difference and um, why basically um, bottom line is guys is that the, the women here are just just so much better um, the competition here is a lot less um, I'm 51 years old okay hate to say it but 50 up uh, 51 years young and I think I've been I got divorced in 2015 and um, I was a wealthy I, I say wealthy I was doing pretty good had a business and the ex-wife helped me run it and um, caught her doing some things not so much to the company but to you know um, without being negative because it, that's just not what I need to be doing but um, just um, wrong things and God bless her now she's remarried good for her she's good to my kids um, got one kid that's fixing to go off to the Navy next month actually um, so we both did good um, and we'll go from there but what I noticed after I was divorced is that um, you know being in the 40s um, the company taking a dive that I'm not a young guy anymore though I feel young I go out and I still play basketball here in the Philippines um, you know I do all kinds of activities uh, it's not as much as I want but um, you know a little bit more freer in that sense but um, time wise but the competition here is low. They're in the uh, they're in the United States. Being divorced at that age, you could not. They're all fat. They they all have this attitude um, that well, you don't you don't drive this certain kind of car. You don't have this house, um, or you did have this house, and 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 I still had the house. I. You know, I had a huge house and, you know, decent sized property before I finally just gave it all away because um, I, I couldn't deal with it and she wasn't going to help me anymore with the company, even though I was paying for her college to move on, you know. But anyway, but the, the attitude of the women there in the States is, is that it, it's like a gold digger. It's worse there than it is here in the Philippines. You're still going. You, you're going to find that any, anywhere in the in the world. But the difference is, is once you find or even come here, you're going to find that even at my age, even if you were dating a woman your own age, meaning even my age, that they're 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 healthier. They're they're not fat. They're they're they don't have this attitude that you've got to have a certain car you've got to have a certain house uh point being is is when i got here i hardly had anything i still hardly have anything but you guys already know blue look how gorgeous she is and she's she's young um i'm not so much bragging on that but um she's beautiful and she doesn't have that attitude like american women do um to where if i was going to date a younger woman and let me stop you there the age difference between me and her which is kind of weird ironic I don't know how you want to look at it is is that um, my wife was six my ex-wife was six years younger than I am so 
she married a guy almost the same, maybe three years difference, something like that, um, difference in the age gap that me and Blue have. She went up, so the guy's way older than I am. So um, it happens. Um, but there again, he he didn't lose his company, you know. He, you know, just. But she's still not. She's a good person, but she's still not as beautiful as my wife. As in other words, my wife can come home. And I've busted my ass all day. And here lately, we've had a shift change. As in other words, she has to work nights and maybe another week or so. Um, and then it'll change, and then we're both on the same schedule. But she'll still come home and something stupid. But here in the Philippines, you're going to wear, you're going to end up wearing flip flops, okay? And. The dirt here is is it's volcanic. It's um, here where I live, it, so it gets in your toenails and you know just stuff like that. But she'll take her time to um, clip them and and take 30, 45 minutes when I know she's exhausting. I'm saying no, I'll get this. I just you know help me find the little cleaning tools, and she she demands that. She does it because, in their mind, that's what the wife does. So you're not making a slave out of them. That's just what they want to do because it's just how they're brought up. Back in the United States, and that's one of the reasons I say there ain't no way I'm bringing her there, is because once she gets involved with an American woman that's a neighbor, a fat ass at that, um, doesn't work. Her husband's supporting her. Um, she says, why are you doing that? Why? And I've already seen it. I don't. So um, the women here are just better. It, the competition's a lot lower. Um, and another thing is, guys, they smell a hell of a lot better. Honestly, they 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 um, they call it tab. Tabo, tabo. It's T A B O. It's it, they don't shower here. They don't. Now, the only reason we have this is because I have bad allergies. Um, and a lot of times y'all probably hear me, I end up, you'll hear my voice change. I end up getting clogged up so bad, but uh, to blow her nose or she'll do her nails or whatever with. But when they go to the bathroom, they, they wash and it's just, they just smell a lot better. Um, in fact, a lot of the Filipino women here make a, make jokes about it. Why do the American women do that? They you know they think it's gross. They just they wipe and they don't clean. So um, big big difference. Uh, Thailand's pretty much the same. Um, you know Hong Kong they have a little bit different setup, but it's all you know Google it. Their their bathrooms, um, CRs, whatever you want to call it, they, they pretty much wash. So, um, a lot cleaner, but um, the bottom line is, is that there again, the competition here, you don't have to be rich. You just have to have a good heart. Um, they just want to be loved, um, and you're going to be loved back. Um, I've seen clips on YouTube where um, they do it on purpose, of course, and, and you can key it in and watch them. It's pretty comical. Um, the gold digger videos um, and then just um, the attitudes. Um, in fact, there are some that they already show the attitudes about um, Western women versus Asian women. And there'll be like a, you know, 25 year old guy, six foot something, you know, muscular and um, goes in, be nice to these women, and and they're just they're just and they're good looking women, and they just and they just have an attitude, and you don't find that here. So that's what I'm trying to get across. If you're going to date a, a, an Asian woman, now some of the Japan's very hard to, to date. Um, you know, I've got friends over there. I talk to them. Um, and a lot of that is because they do work so much. The community hours are different. It, um, so uh, Thailand, Vietnam, 
uh, Philippines are, are pretty much, uh, in my opinion, the best if you're going to get involved and get away from the American feminist, um, the liberal attitude that they have, um, just the disrespect in their men, as in other words. Um, you'll find it better this way. And it's fun. It's um, You'll see some videos about them being tampo, uh, tampo, however you want to pronounce it, it's T-A-M-P-O. Um, it's true, um, but it's 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 more comical than it is anything else. It's not not drama. There is drama here, and there's drama everywhere in the world. But um, you know, just be educated about it, and you'll get along just fine. Um, her and I have arguments. Um, but they they're over just like that um so and how it's it's too hard to argue with somebody that so beautiful like her and she can't even say hippopotamus it's hippopotamus it's but anyway so you just laugh it's you're just gonna enjoy your life a lot better than somebody asking you know what kind of car you drive or um you know on and on I, and I hope I get that across of what the difference is. And there again, I'm still learning how to communicate on these uh, channels and make better content. Um, but I uh, do appreciate the subscribers that we do have. The channel's growing. And uh, the comments helps direct us in the way that y'all want to go. Um, I know there is one subscriber that uh, wants me to be more clear on immigration. We do have a video coming in the next few days on that. Um, we've been working and we're actually going to try to make it a little comical, um, but at the same time answer the questions um, you know, more directly. Um, and so when we are missing something that you want to know more direct um, answers to, please comment. It, it kind of helps me um, go where y'all want to go because we are seeing so many people coming to the channel and like I said commenting or um, you know hitting us up on messenger finding us that way that they ask certain questions um, we see a lot of people coming wanting to come to the Philippines so which I, I still think that's an awesome thing you're 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 gonna be more welcome here the women the guys um, they're just awesome people um, so do I miss home yeah, there's a lot of things I miss about home. I mean, it's my country. It's America. Um, but um, I am happier here. I have a better wife here. Like I said, I she hates when I cook. Not because she doesn't like my cooking, but they, they just they want to be a good wife. And all of my friends here that are expats, um, they pretty much say the same thing. It's, you know... They have no regrets coming here. So keep that in mind that for you guys that are doing long distance relationships right now or are fixing to come here and you're a little nervous, just bite the bullet, turn around and look at what's going on in your own country, the divorces that you've already had, um, and just just look at it that way. You're still young. You still have a life ahead of you. Um, get up and and take that step. You, I can. I don't want to say. I, I promise you, you won't regret it. But everybody I've met so far that has come here does not regret it. Yeah, are there some asshole Americans here or expats here? Yeah, there are. Um, I. And of course, you can avoid them. They're, you know, so you're gonna you're gonna be involved in a whole new culture. They do speak English. It's funny English, but it's good English. Um, you're gonna you're gonna be just fine. So I'll leave it at that. Um, like I said, even on this video, if there's something I'm missing about um, how what it's really like to date or um, anything like that. You know where I've been and otherwise to be able to judge this I've been to the Ukraine I've been you know I've dated women there um, so 
um, do feel free to ask and I'll answer as much as I, as I can and as fast as I can. Thank you guys. Cheers.